Hey guys, it's me, Utterly Chloe, aka Mariah, and I'm back with a new YouTube video, and if you read the title, you would know that today we are rating Miraculous Villains outfits. This is gonna have to be several parts because there's so many, so in this video, we're just gonna start off with the season one villains. Quick disclaimer as always, this is all just my opinion. You obviously don't have to agree or disagree. Don't hate on anybody for their opinion in the comments. Anyway, I'm gonna try to keep this intro short, and let's just get into it. Starting off with the man who technically designs all of these outfits. Hockey aka Hawk Moth. And for me personally, I actually like his design. I know a lot of people don't like his um helmet mask thing. I don't know what you want to call but it. But I actually like it and I also like his suit a lot. I'm um, not quite sure if his suit really resembles a butterfly that amazingly but i don't really care because it looks good to me i also like his weapon it's like a cane or staff or whatever something an old person would have i also like his little eyeliner he has there so i think i'm gonna give hockey boy mm, i think i'm gonna give him a 9 out of 10 I, well actually no i'm gonna give him an 8 out of 10 because i'm not too sure how much i really like the bald helmet mask situation going on but yeah he still looks very menacing very evil you know so I think it's good. I think it's good. Definitely my favorite form of any of Gabriel's, like, butterfly miraculous outfits. Moving on to my girl Stormy Weather. I love her outfit. First of all, it's got purple, the best color there literally is. She just looks so cool. Like, I just love her outfit. Like, look at her mask, the little bolts. Are you kidding me? And I love the boots, her eyes, her makeup her hair she literally ate she served she left nothing i think it's kind of obvious what i'm gonna write this outfit obviously it's a 10 out of 10 because i mean just like look at her moving on to the bubbler um it is it's it's definitely unique i've definitely never seen anything like it and i hope i never see anything like it again i really don't like anything about this outfit um it's just kind of a mess to me i'm just gonna have to give this outfit like a zero out of ten personally i hate it moving on to the pharaoh i don't know anything about um egyptian mythology is that what it's called um i don't really know so i don't know if this outfit is like accurate to the mythology but i do know that i actually do like his outfit i think it's very detailed and he looks really cool probably one of my faves for this season i don't really have anything i dislike about it so with all that being said i'ma give my boy pharaoh a 10 out of 10. next up we got this um fly looking girl she really looks like a bug to me <laughs> like the helmet like the eye part and it's black and it's just it looks like a bug like don't try to tell me that it doesn't look like a bug i don't know i just find this outfit really ugly and hideous personally so i'm gonna give time breaker a zero out of ten because it's just it, ugly it's just ugh. next up we got my girl alia coming here to save our eyes from that last outfit she ate this up which i'm not surprised because alia never disappoints it's amazing how amazing this outfit is because like i wouldn't expect an outfit based on wi-fi to be any good but it is only thing i'm not too sure if i like about this outfit is the eyes like the eye color i don't know if i like it or not but it's like not that big a deal like i can like get over it so i'm still gonna give this outfit um a 9 out of 10, I think, is appropriate. Next, we have Mr. Pigeon. I don't like his outfit. It's just... It's not that, I, like, it's ugly. Or, it's just so weird. Like, I just... What about this tells me that he's a pit... He, like, he's, he's, like, fighting for pigeons. Like, this outfit has, like, nothing to do with pigeons. I don't... It's... I don't really know what to say about it, honestly. But then again, the who's who, what's Mr. Pigeon's real name? I don't know. But Mr. Pigeon is like kind of a weird dude, so I guess it makes sense. He's got like a weird outfit. It's kind of fun. I don't know. I, I'll give it. I'll give it a six out of ten. I guess. Moving on to the evil straighter. I don't know how do you say it. I may hate Nathaniel, but. I kind of like this outfit. It kind of ate, honestly. And before anybody, like, I already know y'all in the comments are going to be like, why do you hate Nathaniel? Um, I don't really have a reason. He just, something about him just annoys 
the crap out of me. Like, I just don't like him. Also, the way he treated Mark when he first met him. But anyway, back to his outfit. I think his outfit represents his, um, t- powers or whatever you want to call him really well. He definitely looks like he's, you know, a little art boy. I like how detailed his costume is. Um, I'm gonna give Astrolator, uh, Evil, I don't know, I still just say his name. Um, I'm gonna give, um, I'm gonna give him a 9 out of 10, would let him wear it again. Next up, we got Roger Cop. I think he looks like a Transformer, but I mean, the outfit, is it stylish? No, but I think it looks kind of cool, like, yeah, it looks kind of cool. I don't really know what my thoughts are on this, to be honest with you guys. Um, and when I don't know what to rate something, I just give it a 5 out of 10. So I guess I'm just going to give them a 5 out of 10. I don't really know what I think about this outfit. Like, y'all let me know what your opinions are on this outfit, because I don't know what mine are. Next up, we got Dark Cupid. I actually really love his outfit. Like, it looks so good, except for his little mohawk. Um, I really, I... I'm a Kim Mohawk hater till I die. It is why. What? Like, does, do people even wear Mohawks anymore? And if you do, don't. Um, <laughs> I'm kidding. You can do whatever you want. This, that's a joke. But um, yeah, I really hate his Mohawk. I think it's really ugly. But other than that, I really like the outfit. The red and the black is a really good combination. He definitely looks like um, like anti-love or whatever definitely gonna give this outfit a nine out of ten because of the mohawk situation moving on to horrificer horrificator i don't remember what her name is to be honest but um i like her out like is it does this even count as an outfit though i guess i'm just gonna say design um i like her design i think she looks like like the colors are pretty but she still looks like scary or whatever i like it i don't know i think it's cool um, I'll give, I'll give, I'll give Miss Milan a 8 out of 10, because, like, it's cool, but it's not, like, my most favorite thing in the whole entire universe. Moving on to Dark Blade, and why is he kind of, uh, anyway, um, I like his outfit a lot. Um, I think he looks really cool, and he definitely looks like a knight, which is what I'm pretty sure he's supposed to be. Um, and I like the red and the black. I feel like red and black goes, like, pretty well together, so very, like, villain ask i guess you you could say so i definitely would give my man a dark blade a 10 out of 10 would duff let him worry it again next we got the mime and my only complaint is his hair the blonde just completely ruins this outfit like it just does not go with the other colors that well it should have been brown or black in my opinion and my opinion is always right that's a joke by the way you angry little people who are gonna yell at me because you know everybody on the internet has to complain but anyway can you tell i'm filming this video really late at night because i'm kind of tired but anyway but other than his hair i really like this outfit i especially like little teardrop makeup um i'm gonna give the mime if it just if they just fix the hair, it would be a ten out of ten. But because of the hair, I'm gonna give it a nine out of ten, I guess. Next up, we got Kung Fu. I think that's how you say his name. I'm not too sure. But anyway, um, I don't know if I like this or not. I feel like he looks a little funny because of his hair. Um, but I don't know. He does definitely look like evil i guess but to me it's just not a vibe um i i don't like it i'm gonna give it a one out of ten sorry moving on to the gamer i actually like his outfit i feel like max like his outfits besides his like everyday one all look really good i really like this outfit because it's like very I wouldn't say it's very detailed. It's very simple, but for some reason, I like it. <laughs> I like how, you know, Max wears glasses and they still gave him a form of glasses. The glasses kind of look like butterflies, like a butterfly to me. I don't know if that's what it's supposed to be, but that's what it looks like to me. I also really like the light green. I think that's the shade. I don't know. The light green with the black. Um, I'm not too sure if I like the purple face. I feel like 
his normal skin color would be fine. I noticed a lot of miraculous villains. They always change their skin color, and most of the time, I don't know why they do that, but... Anyway, even with the purple skin, I still really like the outfit, but I think I'm gonna dock some points just because I don't really like the purple skin, so... Um, I think I'll give him an 8 out of 10. I can't remember this villain's name, but I'm not gonna rate his outfits because it's literally just animals, so yeah, we're just gonna skip him. Moving on to my girl Chloe. She looks amazing as always, but anyway, I'm gonna try not to be biased. Um, I know a lot of people complain that this outfit is really simple or they're like, it's literally just ladybugs outfits but color swapped. Yeah, well, so is um, the fake akumatized ladybug, and nobody cares about that. And also, of course, she's supposed to be anti-bug. She's literally supposed to be the opposite of ladybug. She doesn't need to be that detailed or anything. I think it looks good, so I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10. Is it because she's my favorite? You know what? That doesn't really matter, okay? This is my video, so I can write her whatever I want, so yeah. Next up, we got Reflecta, and I know this outfit is kind of weird, but for some reason, I really like it. I feel like it's unique, but it still, like, looks good. Um, I'm not- I don't really like the eyelash, like, the green eyelash thing, you know what I mean? I think it's kind of weird because that color isn't in her outfit anywhere else except for her nails, but I don't know. I think those two- those that color, like, just kind of does not go- with the pink and the white, but other than that, I really like this outfit. She literally ate, if you ask me, and I am always right. That is very true, obviously. But it is still kind of weird. I, I don't know, it's like a weird... It's just a weird outfit, but for some reason I like it. You know, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna give it a 7 out of 10. Next, we have Guitar Villain, and let me just say... I would actually maybe like this outfit if they didn't add the random orange flames on his pants for some reason. I don't think that the flames should have- like the color, yellow, orange, whatever you want to call it. I don't think that should be in the outfit. It does not go with the purple and black. It looks so random and ugly. And like, it's just making the outfit overcomplicated. Like, too much is going on for me. I'm gonna have to give this outfit a solid 2 out of 10. Next up, we have the Pixelator. I just need to get this out of the way. I hate his hair. It looks really stupid. But anyway, let's focus more on the outfit. Other than his camera eye thing, I don't really know what about this outfit says that he's, like, a photographer or whatever, but... I don't know. I mean, it's not like the worst outfit in the world or anything. It's just not my fave. I don't know why. Um, I don't know. I, I'm just, I guess I'll give it a 6 out of 10 because I don't hate or like it, but I, I'm leaning more towards liking it than hating it, so. Next up, we got Princess Fragrance, and right off the bat, I just want to say I think it's funny how they tried to, like, make her head look like a perfume bottle. I do like this outfit. It's just, why did they make her skin green? Why do they always have to change the skin to color? I feel like it just most of the time makes the whole outfit look stupid. Or if you're gonna change the skin color, at least make it go with the rest of the outfit. Like, why the heck is- why, why is it green? Where did we get green from? I'm just not understanding. Another thing I think would have been a good touch is she's supposed to be princess fragrance. They could have given her like a tiara or something, but other than the skin, I like the outfit, so I guess I'll give it an 8 out of 10. I know this is a lot, don't worry guys, we're almost near the end, but anyway, next we got Simon Says. Um, for me, this outfit is too bright if that makes sense like i'm not really digging the colors together um it's like the most random choice to put those two colors together um 
I, I don't know. For me personally, this outfit is a miss. I'm going to give it a 4 out of 10. Next up, we've got my favorite outfit and akumatized villain of season 1. Valpina and unpopular opinion. Trigger warning, I know some of you are about to come for me. But I like Valpina's outfit. Like, I think, think it looks better than Rena Rouge's sorry but i love it i don't know i just feel like it fits lila better especially because foxes are known to be like sly and mischievous or whatever so i feel like it just looks and makes more sense for her but anyway i really like this outfit i feel like orange is lila's color and it goes so well with her green eyes and the hair is like really cute and i feel like her hair looks like a fox tail you know i don't feel like rena's really does but don't get me wrong i love rena's outfit it's probably like one of my favorite superhero outfits but yeah definitely have to give vulpina a 12 out of 10 because it's literally amazing and lastly we've got this guy i don't remember what his name is i think it's stoneheart but um who cares to be honest i don't really know if this counts as an outfit because He's kind of just like a rock dude, um, but yeah, I don't know. I don't think this really counts as an outfit. I'm just gonna give it a 5 out of 10 because I don't really care about it. Okay, guys, I think that is all of the villains that are in season 1, so I will probably make other parts for the other season villains, I guess you would say. Thank you for this commenter who recommended that I do it by season. That was very helpful. Let me know your opinions in the comments. Who's your favorite? Who's your least favorite? And I'll see y'all in my next video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I love you. Bye. Who are you again? Uh, Hawk Moth? No, I mean the villain is Shadow Moth? Uh, right, duh. He, uh, he calls himself King now. Huh? Wow.